Hello, this is a video of my submission for the 555 contest. So I've created a circuit that uses a 555 timer to clock a um, linear feedback shift register. That's the shift register. This is the timer. And I apologize for all the clicking noises. That's the sound of my camera refocusing. But um, what's going on is basically I've got a 555 timer in an A-stable circuit using this potentiometer to adjust the frequency. And so that is clocking this shift register, which is in a 7-bit LFSR configuration. So an LFSR is a linear feedback shift register, which produces a random uh, pulse train. So for my purposes, it's just a random signal coming out. And so um, the this yellow wire here is the clock going into the shift register. And the shift register, to become an LFSR, is using a uh, XOR, so this is a quad XOR chip, and it's using one of the XORs to feed back um, bits 6 and 7 from the LFSR, and then feeding that back into the input. So that's what this wire is doing. And so um, when a 555 is in the A-stable uh, circuit, you, you usually get a square wave, so it might not be a um, even square wave, but you get a square wave. And so, um, if I output, so this this is um, a piece of a headphone connected through a 100 microfarad, mi uh, excuse me, microfarad cap, and this is um, connected to this wire, which I'm going to connect to the 555 timer. So you'll hear a um, square wave being output. And so I, I'm warning you right now, this is going to be kind of noisy, so you might want to turn down your speaker. Okay, so that's coming out of this uh, speaker right there. And if I adjust the circuit, I can change the frequency. And so I have this connected to my oscilloscope. And you can see as the frequency gets lower, the square wave gets uh, larger, I guess, you know, a bigger period. Okay, so let's disconnect that now. Okay, and now I'm going to connect it to the output of the LFSR. So this should sound somewhat like an Atari. This is random uh, random noise being output through the speaker. So if I adjust the frequency of the 555 timer, you get a very Atari-like sound. And just a note, I should have said this earlier, this part of the circuit, that's something else. So my entire submission is just these three chips. So thank you very much.